All right, I just want to remind you about the uh, supplementary or amended sections of the code versus the general sections. When we talk about section 62, it is a supplementary section. What does this mean? Well, first of all, let's remember that the general sections in the Canadian Electrical Code are sections 0 to 16 and 26. And general means just that. <clears throat> they are more general. They're not specific. And so all of the other sections are more specific and their rules actually take precedence over the general sections. So how does this affect the wire size for loads like the baseboard heat and the hot water tanks? Well, if we look at a general rule, 14-1042, that rule limits the size of the overcurrent device that you can use with number 10, number 12, and number 14 AWG size conductors. For example, using 14-1042, the maximum breaker allowed on a number 14 AWG copper conductor is 15 amps. Even though when we go to table two and look in the 75 degree column, a 14 AWG copper conductor is good for 20 amps. But if you look at 14-1041C, it allows us to override 14-1042 in the amended sections. So for section 62, we can use table two to find the maximum capacity allowed, which is 20 amps. And then we can use a 20 amp breaker for fixed heating loads.